So a few months ago, I did a few videos about entering Linux. And what that video was about is my first time with a Linux distro. As if you've been on the channel, then you know I've been talking about Linux for a while now. But that was Linux as it related to Chrome OS. And even lately as it deals with Android. So it's guess it was only a matter of time that I tried my first distro. And just so you know, that distro that I've been going with has been Ubuntu. Now, me using Linux for the past few months, I've had to deal with some misconception that I've had. So I'll do more videos like this later on, but let me just get into my three misconceptions about Linux. Number one, number one, that it is only for enthusiasts. Now, I want to first say that I do have somewhat of a computer background in high school. I took two years into computer networking. I originally wanted to be a computer bench tech, you know, just hard repairing the hardware and things like that. And you went to college and try to major into computer networking again, even there. And um, so I'm not like a total you know, idiot when it came to it. But when I looked up videos like years ago, about those who put Linux on the computer, they were doing things like they were putting the laptop, because I had a laptop at the time, putting the laptop down and they were, you know, opening it up, removing the hard drive or, or at least like the battery and all that just kind of freaked me out because I thought if I make a mistake, I'm going to fry my machine and then I'm left with nothing. That brings me to misconception number two, the installation was too difficult at least that's what i believe i thought that no way is this going to be easy but the more and more i looked into it the more confident i've gotten into that no maybe i can install a linux operating system now i'm not saying it's so easy that my mother can do it but it was a lot more easier than it than i originally thought now maybe it the process has gone a lot better or simpler simplified over the years since I've even attempted to since I've looked into it but all around it was not hard I just need a flash drive to load the software on and boot it up my next misconception and I don't know we're on three or four right now is that I will have no apps see my introduction into Linux was the Debian version that is on Chrome OS. And, you know, I've had videos about how to enable that and get into that. But once you enable the Linux container on your Chromebook, there's nothing there. And you kind of have to bring programs to it, which means going into the command line, which that freaked me out a lot in the beginning, which why I thought this was only for enthusiasts, because the command line kind of scared me away for a while. But that is to like you know you just use the graphical interfaces any other operating system but when it came to ubuntu i was again surprised that you no know, the operating system and mint as well came with programs already pre-installed giving me just about everything i needed already there you know maybe there's a few things i had to download but it felt much more natural than i thought which Again, I thought, unless you were really a programmer, you couldn't use Linux, a misconception. Overall, I was stunned just how well that I can just use this operating system. I know kind of going in that I'll be fine. I know if you're coming from Mac or Windows, there's like a fear of, you know, can you survive on Linux? But generally speaking, I, coming from Chrome OS, I still use Chrome. I, I don't want to make it seem like I left Chrome OS and all on Ubuntu. It's my second PC, but considering what, here's something I did know that was going to happen was that it was going to make my PC run a whole lot better. I wanted to not use it at all, considering basically unusable because how slow and sluggish it was to actually be a, a pretty decent PC. I am enjoying my experience. And again, this isn't a misconception, but I even like how it, like it is very modern. I'm glad I went with Ubuntu. I know there's other distros out there and maybe I'll give those a try. So that's gonna do it for today's video. 
Now, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. We talk about Chrome OS, Android, and now Linux. And if you try Linux, what misconceptions do you have before joining the platform? All right, that's all I have for you today. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.